All right, we got a motorcycle clear, a little bit low on his back tire. Looks a little flat under there. Oh, there goes a dog. He's gonna piss on that tire, I bet. Look at that. Oh, he's chasing birds. It's a bird chasing hound. Yep. You have fun over there, Scooby? You can't bring that bird. Are you gonna interrupt my video? Yeah, you're interrupting my video again. All right, so we gotta put a little air in this tire. So it looks like that front tire there. Uh. So we got this new air pump we're gonna test. It's a two-cylinder air pump, must be for Harley. Yep. It says it's number one. The key part is, they listened to me, they gave us a 12-volt connector. Yes, we don't have this on our motorcycle, but we do have a battery. So I'm gonna use this battery right here because I want to go under your seat over there. There you go. Right on. I don't jiggle it all over the place like I did last time. Yeah, I know. Early stages of Parkinson's. Early stages of dumbass. All right. Who is that? Here, take a picture of that. That's who it came from. It looks to be packed about adequately. <laughs> I, I see some unpacking videos on YouTube. Yeah. There, it's unpacked. It's unpacked. There. That goes up your butt. I don't know where this one goes. Where does this one go? It's a nice one. Your butt. We have some inflators for people with small butts. They're not going to like my videos if I keep telling them talking about that. Clogged up butts. It's got a rubber mounted peg. That's nice. It won't vibrate much like a Harley does. Ah. And your wife will like that. It's got a light on there too. Look at that. You can put that on your bike as a headlight. Yeah. It's got to direct me to my battery. Okay, so this is a battery connector. Here. That's what we need for a Harley. Okay. I don't know how that's supposed to work. What's this one do? I bet you this is an extension cord of some type. Yeah, look at that. See? Yep. It's got the same end on it. Yep. This goes over here. There we go. What will they think of next? I don't know. They're pretty fancy. This is a lot better than the other one we had. Okay. Now I got extensions. See, now I can get Scooby. Get a Scooby. I need an air nozzle to blow the bike off with. How come they have an air nozzle to blow the bike yeah, off? Yeah, that's what you so need. Can use. Okay, uh, I don't think we need any of this junk. Nope. Hey, what? You pushing through here? Am I in your way? And, oh, they even got a handle. Look at, that. Little Look at that. Carry handle. Oh, it's got everything that you possibly can need. <laughs> Let's see, how's it work? It's got a gauge. Nice. It appears to go up to 150 pounds in the red. Wow. So you can only go to 115 pounds in the, in the, the non red. Or 112.5, I guess. 112.5. Yeah, now that's in the PSI. Now, if you go in the KPA, whatever that is, that'd be 10. Okay. So it's got two big ass cylinders on it. Big electric motor. Do we need these? Nope. No, we don't need that. I do need this, though, don't I? Because your battery's too hard to get to on your bike. Yep. Damn, we need three hands to carry all this junk. Alright, let's go see how this works. Come on, Scooby. There's a valve stem out. Oh, there it is, right on top. Alright. I knew we were going to do this. Oh, you got to take this off so you can get to your battery. Oh, here's one. There's a battery. Make sure you read all the instructions before you use it. It might be dangerous. Where's your safety glass and gloves? <laughs> and ear protection too. I gotta have ear protection. Yeah. I did put my my boots on today though. Ah, you're good then. You're good. Okay, you have zero pounds in it right now. Maybe I'm already doing something wrong. Who knows? There's gotta be some way of setting this thing. There's an on-off switch. Found that. Ooh, it's got two switches. One's for the light. Oh, is that what it is? Lights off. All right. I don't see no knob to turn. How come there's no knob? That's a cylinder. I guess you just flip it off when you want to, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, if I read the instruction, I would know how to use this. 
Now you always hook up red first because it's dangerous if you don't. Know. How's that light work? Like shit. Oh, I'm gonna see it. I don't think your fucking battery's good. I got a good battery. Nothing's mm, working. I think you broke the pump already. Here's another switch on this thing. There's a red light. There we go. Thirty-four pounds now. That's good. It appears you put too much in there. Yeah, let's double check it with a. Oh, it appears to be an air leak. See that oh, air leak? Yeah, hold on. I want to leave a little more in it. It just goes down anyway. <laughs> now we're at twenty-eight pounds. Two pounds. Perfect. How much do you want? Thirty-two. 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 Lose a little bit taking that off. <laughs> I wish you unhook your battery. Well, that worked good. It went up pretty good. Yep. Pretty damn quick. Yeah. Got two pumps going. That's twice as fast. Yeah. Yeah, twice as expensive. The valve cover in my pocket. In your pocket. Where's your valve? Uh, where's your air pressure tester? In the shop. That's a good one. I got to get one of these to test that. Maybe this one's better. We'll see. Oh, that one, oh, that, what kind of a stupid gauge is that? There we go. We're at 32. How much did you want? What number did you like? 32 at least. Oh, at least 32? Yeah. Let me check it a couple times just to make sure you got 32. What are we up to now? We're at 23. Uh, it appears that we're low again. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> It's a good thing we got our pump sitting right here. I guess the pump's uh, the gauge is right then. Yeah. But you are going to lose a, a couple pounds of pressure when you disconnect this. Oh, okay. With the screws on. So you got to make sure you put more than you need in there. And I probably didn't tell you that the instructions. I didn't read the instructions, so I wouldn't know what they had in the instructions. Yeah, that must be like common sense. 
So we're at 20, uh, not even 20 right now. Still have 32 in it. Okay. This is getting hot. This okay. connector sucks. But at least it allows you to use it on a Harley, not a car. Yeah. Unless you have a cigarette lighter on your bike. You don't have that, do you? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so we tested it. It worked. Now we're going to do a real test on a real bike. We'll get on the street and test it out on a moped or something. Yeah. <laughs> Something important. Okay, so I guess now we got to read the instructions on how to use this. Because I'm sure we're not doing it right. Shit, we did it right. Did we did it right? Yeah, yeah, you got that battery for me? What are you doing over there, Scooby? Scooby's trying to help. Well, oh, yeah, I'm walking on the cord. Okay, very important that you read all instructions before. See, even says caution, don't use it. How's our heat? Okay, not too much heat yet. That side's cold. This side, lukewarm at best. I think it's above adding the temperature by 10 degrees. That's pretty good. The airline's still 10 degrees above. We haven't used it for a couple minutes. But the plug, it's, it's warmed up. That, that part's hot. Oh, yeah. Bad plug. It's a good thing they gave us an adapter. We do need that, but this adapter sucks. <coughs> We really need is a quick disconnect two pin plug that you can take have your this end on it or alligator clips to work right. on batteries. This adapter stuff is a joke. But that's me. But it will work in a pinch. It'd be nice if they gave us an air gauge too. Yeah. Here, what's that saying there? I can't open it. We've got a carrying case here I didn't use. You don't suppose there's any instructions in here, do you? Got a uh, no instructions. Well, there's our first problem. It doesn't look like at all like a motorcycle. Now it's on its side. Oh, uh, this is a. <laughs> this is how they're supposed to be for a hot rod. <laughs> this guy is drunk, doesn't know how to drive. This guy's having fun out there going over the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, that's some chick. And this guy here, I don't know what he did, but he, he had a big boom out the back. Yeah. We're not supposed to comment about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hold on, I gotta read the instructions here. There's got to be some important instructions I didn't read yet. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you completely deflated. The seal between a tire might not work. Duh. <laughs> what if there's a hole in the tire? Will it still blow up? Oh, it says switch on the compressor for the switch. We did that. Hey, that's step four. Monitor the pressure gauge carefully. <laughs> You know why you have to monitor it carefully? Because it doesn't have an on-off. When desired pressure is reached, press the compressor stop switch. Duh. <laughs> Jeez, that's pretty darn smart. Well, that's pretty uh, pretty good instructions. So, compressor works good. I like that part. Plug works, but sucks. Got an extension. The instructions are worthless. That's pretty sweet. This works here, but it has it loses air when you let off. That's pretty sweet. The biggest problem is it doesn't shut off when you set your preset pressure, like the other ones do. So that's a big that, negative. That, that thing. So that means you have to be baby watching this thing. Yeah. So somebody like you might have a problem. Somebody like me that has to walk away and have a cigarette. If that's the tire right. Be up to 80 to 80 <laughs> pounds. It'd be a, <laughs> it, but it can only go up to 112 pounds. It says. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he wants the battery past the battery test again. Nice. Oh, got a carrying case. I already saw there was nothing in it though. Oh. It's, see, it's got a picture of it right here. I'm trying to see what's missing. See, this is a different model than we have. See, that's got the heavy duty bracket. Yeah, that's got the nice bracket. We yeah. got the, this has got the nice wire one. Yeah. This one here had some, this had a two holder bracket here. Yeah, see that was heavier duty. 
it had a fuse in the line on this one. This one doesn't have a fuse. Uh -huh. At least I didn't see a fuse. No, no fuse. No fuse. Okay, it's defused. This must be a... This was the upgraded model, I think they said, on this one. Upgrade. Uh, let's see, 50 linear per minute, 30 PSI. I think that means it puts out a lot of air pressure. Uh, 1015 tire and 1530, uh, five minutes. No, five, uh, one minute. One minute. It's going to fill a big tire in one minute? Damn. We're going to be testing now, believe me. Damn. I test all my big tires on this on pumps to see how they work. So that will be our test we're going to do in the next part of this video. One minute. I don't believe for a fact that thing's going to pop up that Hummer tire in one minute. <laughs> Maybe? It takes 30 amps. Woohoo. Look at that. 40 minutes. I can only run it for 40 minutes straight. That'd be like one huge tire. For I, this big pump. I don't think I can use it at my house. I've got fuses yet. No, the, the other pumps, uh, they say you can only I don't run even it. think they're over 20. The other pumps say you can only use them for five minutes. I run them for 20 minutes to a half hour. So oh. This one you can run for 40 minutes. That means that I'm going to have to run this for like two hours straight to see if it's any good. I don't know if I have that big of a tire around here. All right, that's it for now. For now, it worked good. It'd be nice if there's an on-off switch so you can control how much air goes in the thing, but oh well. You can't have everything. But you have these wonderful things here for something. Doohickeys. You know, doohickeys. Those are doohickeys. Yeah, we got some doohickeys. And so far, this didn't leak either. That's good. So right now, it tests all right. We're going to do a more heavy-duty test next. Maybe we'll get that purple wheel and get going. Or is that pink? I'm not sure. Purple. That's too small. We already did one that size. Yeah, we need a car tire. We're going to go find a, a big truck, truck tire to blow tire. up. A truck tire. That's my test tire. Like, like the guy so that'll be our door, next he's test. Got the big tire. Okay, we're going to do a test of the, um, the two stage, two cylinder pump here. I got my big test wheel here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, run a test. Oh, damn. Dog. Hey, you're in my feet. Scooby's in the way. Uh, so, anyway, this is a big truck tire. I've used it in my other test. Uh, there's a 1216 5, otherwise known as one big ass tire. So we're going to let the air out of it. And we're going to pump it right back up and see how long it takes to do it. It'll go up to 50 pounds, I recall. So it'll take a while. Let's we'll see how long. We're just going to let the air out of it. Battery uh, uh, hook up here. This is the battery. Hope that doesn't limit the amperage. Probably does. We got a nice uh, Ultima car battery down here to use, so that should be plenty of power. Watch it. The other test I did, the pump always had to shut off. You set them at 50 pounds and whatever and let them pump up. So this one doesn't have that, so we'll have to do something different. Let's pay attention. That's the only disadvantage I've seen so far with this pump. There's no automatic shut off on it. So that is a problem. Alright. Let's get a blown air off. See how long it takes to blow air off the tire, you know, it's going to take a while to pump up. That should take a while. Put them lead down. So this is my uh, 58 Ford pickup truck that I've been working on. Uh, stripping it down to put onto another chassis. We're going to use that Dodge truck chassis right there for that guy. I'll stick that underneath this thing. But Another project. I'm letting the air continue to blow off. Sounds like it's just about out. I got my clock over there, so we'll see how long it takes to pump up. So shouldn't 
the other pumps took uh, at least 20 minutes. I forget how long they were. So this one might take only about 15 minutes if we're lucky. Being a two-cylinder pump, you don't think you're gonna get double, but you'll get at least 50% more out of it. So we'll see. Start the pump at 30 seconds there and see what it does. These are 30. Looks like about five seconds late. right to your head. Here's a muffler. So we started at uh, 41 I guess. Started about here on the time frame. So we'll come up on a minute so I must have been 32 when I started. We'll come up here on a minute here shortly. Take one minute. About ten pounds. So one minute, ten pounds, and a big ass car. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, you get behind the garbage can, it sounds a lot better. Yeah, you definitely you don't have that inside the car when you're running it. Give you a headache. What do you got there, Scooby? Scooby don't like it either. And, uh, truck motor under here. Pretty tight. Big block no pour stuffed under here. We're gonna do a battery test on this. They send me a jump starter to test. Test that on this motor. I disconnected most everything off with that, so I took up some of the stuff back onto it to make it run. <laughs> oh well. Uh. Alright, so we got now. It's two minutes. back a little bit and see how it's doing. It's really, really loud right here. Boy, it's loud on this side. Yeah, so if you stand in front of where the headlight is, it's really loud. If you get over here, it's a lot quieter. Probably half the noise. Definitely annoying. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll be back. Well, we're in my machine shop here. You can hear how loud that air pump is as we get closer to it. Pretty noisy. All right, we've been uh, 11 minutes. We're about 40 pounds in this place, a little over 40. So it's pumping pretty quick. Doing a good job. Come back here in a couple more minutes. Alright, we're coming up on 15 minutes. 5, 10, 15. We're almost at 50 pounds now. We're going to 
would take about 15 and a half, 16 minutes to get up to full pressure. Needle's bouncing quite a bit, it's hard to get an number. Pretty close. I'm gonna fire this back here and up forward. Oh, I got mock water all of a sudden. Okay, so there's 50, 50 pounds right there. So we took uh, 16 minutes to pump it up. So the other pumps I had, they were they were definitely a lot longer. I think they were 25 minutes at least. So maybe a half hour, not half hour. Yeah, half hour, 30 minutes. All right, so this appears to be uh, working pretty good. Oh, my light, the light disappeared. Yeah, it's on. All right, so how hot is it now? Hose is definitely warm. That one's cold. This is hot enough to burn you if you got delicate hands. Ooh, that'll definitely burn you. Hold on to that. That's hot. Even for me, that's burned my thumb loaded there almost. It's pretty hot right there. Overall, it's not too hot there. The motor's really hot there. The whole thing is hot. So the electric part is hot, unless that's where the pump is. These cylinders are cold, so these are air-cooled. They're cooling pretty good. It's plastic. This manifold, when this comes out, is really, really hot. So right there, you can see it underneath. That's why that's cold. It's all plastic. That's hot. And that's going to be really hot up under there. So you can see where they tie together right there, the two cylinders. Tie it all together. Thing is pretty warm. I think it's built strong enough to take it though, so that's all that matters, right? How's it come back on under load? Back on. So it comes out back on the load, no problem. So that's good. Those are the ambulance. Alright, well overall it tests pretty good. It's definitely a lot faster than the other one, but the noise is horrible. And there's no automatic shutoff, which kind of sucks. But it's definitely nice that we have a, the battery plug, even though it's a piece of crap, it does help. So, so overall, it's a pretty good little unit. So there's your warnings. If you can read it, don't use it. And that might be the warning, I'm not sure. All right, so that, uh, like I said, it's nice for big tires. So if you got a big off-road vehicle, semi-truck, something with big-ass tires on it, this will definitely get the job done. And then it's not hurting my battery any. So that's a big plus. So, but if it's for a car, you know, it's pretty noisy. So if you don't mind the noise, it's good. Yeah. Other than that, it's a toss up. Except for truck use, definitely a good item. For car use, I'd go with one of the smaller ones. It's probably better for it. But overall, it tests pretty good. So that's it for now.